And I want you to take a look at, the, at this. Uh, the Baton Rouge killer, uh, Gavin Long, tweeting this on July 10th. Quote, yes, the government is, the, is a hate group. They hate black people. He attributes this quote to my next guest, activist Jay Morrison. Jay, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Jay, how, how, do, how do you feel seeing your, your tweet associated with someone who gunned down all those police officers? Well, uh, definitely a confusing, uh, a confusing point at that point. Didn't even realize, and I probably did say it, can't remember when I said it, that particular quote. Um, but, you know, there's plenty of tweets that he tweeted. There's plenty of information out there online, and uh, it is what it is. Well, when you say it is what it is, do you feel any account of, not accountability for their deaths, but when you start saying that the government is a hate group and they hate black people, do you honestly believe the U.S. government, uh, this current U.S. government hates black people? Well, the current U.S. government system is of the same system and same structure that it's always been. And it's, uh, we can call it mislike, we can call it uh, an, an antipathy. But regardless, there is a difference in how the government treats and addresses black people or Africans in America in the way they do other Can groups you give in me America. a couple examples? Sure, and I'm glad you, you asked that. It's, it's a great uh, I'll loop, I call it, right? I'm a slam dunk it. So if our, your audience, right, they're probably going crazy right now. This guy, you know, said these things the government hates, hates black people. Um, I want everyone to look up things like the war on drugs, which is targeted black people, mass incarceration. Cointel Pro, the FBI director James Coney himself, and the uh, New York uh, head of police also said the origin of policing came from slave catching. We also can look at black codes, and vagrancy tactics, the bombing in Tulsa, Oklahoma, the bombing in Philly of the Mu family, all done by the U.S. government towards African people in America. So, so you would say arresting people and keeping law and order is anti-black? Are you are by by saying that? Are you saying that black people inherently are the ones committing the crimes? No, what I'm saying is that having a system, a structure in place, right, from the post-freedom post, uh, or enslavement of black people, and where a system was created called the convict leasing system from, by our government, and where the same year that slaves were free, they created laws called vacancy tactics but, that made it illegal for blacks to be homeless and would lock blacks up and put them in a convict Jay, leasing Jay, system. But, we're, but see, here's the thing. I, I hear what you're talking about with respect to America's history. Right. I, but you, you, the same you, practices are happening, happening today. Well, not, it's no, the same I targeting. see homeless people all over the place, but I still don't see where, where you, you, you're justifying the current, your current anger toward America or the American government uh, I can see you being upset about what may have happened in the past, but you but cannot it say it's changed. occurring. Of course it's changed. It, the fact that you're in this studio right now talking the way you are is the best proof in the world that it's changed. The fact that the 13th Amendment still says slavery was abolished except you commit a crime says that things are still the same. And when you have inmates working in prison, majority of whom are Africans in America, Someone who are making you, 20 Jay, and 30 cents a day Jay, why, for... Jay, why are the majority of people in prison of, Af of African descent? Because the African people in America were never repaired after their enslavement, after them Jim Crow, after the government redlined them, after the government never gave any restitution for the Holocaust enslavement of African people. So if you don't repair a people or you put them in ghettos and you put them poor and uneducated in ghettos, you're going to get that kind you know, of I, activity. You know, it's interesting when we have this conversation, you know, sometimes I drive home on the West Side Highway. It's a little cluttered, so I'll mm -hmm. take the slow route. And I drive through some of my old neighborhoods that I lived in throughout Harlem. And I see them now, and they're becoming what they call gentrified. So it's the same neighborhood, the same buildings, but Correct. less graffiti, less garbage on the street. Right. So what makes a ghetto a ghetto? Not the buildings, not the neighborhood, right? Correct. Right. So the way people treat the buildings in the neighborhood Correct. makes it a ghetto. A Who can you blame that on other than the person in the mirror? I, there's two accountabilities. There is self-accountability for Africans in America that we have to repair ourselves because of the trauma that we suffered. But I liken it to if you take someone who was kidnapped, right, and, or, or a woman or a man who was molested, and molested for several years, and then they're pushed out of the house that they were molested in, and then they go out in the streets and they're promiscuous. You blame them for being promiscuous, but you don't blame the person who caused the trauma. Yeah, it's a stretch. See, it's, a, it's, no, a it's, stretch. it's not a stretch. It's a stretch. Was there or was there not? So if there was never trauma for this kind of treatment, right? I'm talking about the human rights violations of Africans. We're talking about the individual, not the history. You know, no. one thing, I got to tell you something. They come together, King. They don't. You, 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 they, they come together. If they did, if, if there wasn't a need for repair of people, then the Japanese Americans wouldn't have been repaired or had restitution after their two years internment camps in America. But, or the Jewish Germans so, so wouldn't Jay, have gotten repair. Are you saying all it would take in your mind then is some sort of ret uh, restitution check from no, the government? I didn't say check. No, but you're saying no, some sort of restitution. 
repair, repair aid, restoration. Let me tell you it something. Starts with, it's, uh, there are no black people in America right now who, who were ever slaves. Not, not a single one. Right. There are no white people in America at this point who were ever slave owners. Correct. Okay. But and is there not residual effects the over, of that? The overwhelming majority. Are there no residual effects of that? Not for the average person on either side. Is there side. no longer Not for the average that? person for the uh, either How side. How do black people get into the ghettos you talked about? You have to escape yourself. Did the government yourself. not redline black people? Put red lines on the map. Google it if you don't know, King. The government put black people into ghettos through redlining. That created it. Jay, Jay. Is that right ultimately, or wrong? Ultimately, ultimately, we are in a point right now. Did the government not think, create coin tell for you see A government program that broke up civil rights leaders and assassinated our people. Did the government not do that? Jay, hold and on, I guess. Activist Jay Morrison. All right, Jay. Uh, before we went to break, uh, you were explaining all these government programs uh, that were designed and currently are designed to, to hold black people back. Absolutely. Uh, but again, in your tweet, you, you really, you, you term it as government as a hate group. Correct. Uh, now, right now you have a what black... What was my tweet? Let's be correct about that. It wasn't my tweet. Oh, that wasn't your tweet initially? No, okay. That was not my I'm tweet. glad. I'm sorry then. I, I misquoted you. He just, he sent, he added your name to the tweet then. Right. We're yeah. talking about the uh, killer of the, uh, the police officers in Baton Rouge. Absolutely. Who had one Twitter account called Convos with Cosmo. But he did reach out to you because uh, he felt that you guys might have been like-minded on some of this stuff. Not necessarily going as far as murdering anyone, but certainly on the idea that black people are victims in this country. Despite the fact we have a black president uh, uh, and, and a whole lot of black people in this government who have been in position for almost eight years. Right. Who are you think in the Barack same Obama? System. You think Barack Obama hates black people? I don't think that all cops hate black people. I don't think that all government officials hate black people. What I'm saying is that you could put good people in a bad, you're a businessman, you know, you could put good people in a bad system. If the company culture is screwed up, then it's going to play out in the, the market. Well, the market for us is a treatment of African people in America. And it's proven by Jane Elliott said it best. You can ask a room full of European Americans, white people, and ask them, will you trade places with the treatment of African American? And not one would say yes. If it was fair, they all would say sure I would. So ask your white friends at home and ask them, would you trade places with the treatment of black people in America? And not one would, because we all know it's unfair. Well, I, I don't want to speak for, for all white people here, but I, I will say a lot of people would probably turn around and say the worst part about the treatment of black people in America is how black people treat each other in America. But see, why is it always a spin? It's not a spin. It's, it's a fact. If we're, see, if we're laying out the factual issues, I, I, and we're going to rank them in terms of what's the most critical in terms of making black life miserable in America, mm -hmm. I personally think I would put the way black people treat black people at the top. I'm all for self-accountability. I, I, I call you king, and I call all our black women queens to purposely elevate and uplift them. That's what I, I've been doing it for a year now. I don't use any other words other than king or queen referring to our own because we've been personally degraded. We degraded we degrade ourselves and we've been degraded. But you always we always spin the point. It's not a spin. How do we fix that? You have to tell How do we fix that? Black people When does black the perpetrator people? take acceptance? Right? You want the victim to take acceptance, but when does the perpetrator the government who created this system no, not the government. that has abused not the government. and traumatized the not people. Not the government. I'm they talking have. I'm talking about the young brothers who are gonna kill each other this no, weekend all across the country. About. I'm, Why can't I'm, you I'm okay with that? the I'm okay with You're self accountability. Okay with them each other? No, I'm okay with self accountability. How do we fix that then? How do we fix that? It's through our repair curriculum. Right now, we're repairing ourselves by unifying ourselves. I have a solution for us. The solution for us is for us to get some self-dignity, self-pride by us unifying, understanding that before we're American, we're African first. That's why it's African-American. And when African people realize that we are one, one people who are an assortion of African cultures and tribes and countries that were brought here, captured here, and been left in this crap to deal with it ourselves, then we'll unite well, and we'll fix our own problems. But we this. cannot forget the perpetrator who caused this misery for us. I think, I think we're all Americans first and foremost. You're not. First and foremost, yes, I am no. an American, and, and, You're I'm, African -American and, I, and I'm of first. African descent, and I'm Correct. proud of that. Right. But I'm, I'm more proud of being Before an American great, more great than anything else. Before your grandparents were American, they were African. Matter. It doesn't matter. There are people going to be free Africans. Jay, they're going to be people they were American. sworn in tomorrow. Before they're they were gonna colonized people, Americans, they were free Africans. They're going to be people sworn in tomorrow. And guess what? A free they're going to have tears streaming down their eyes because they get to be a part of this great American dream. They want to assimilate while the majority of their people are in misery. I get it. I'm doing well for myself. You're doing well. There's, there's a 10% of us that do well. But what about the rest of us who are left in the ghettos, who are left in poverty, who are left with low education, who are left to, to deal with this? And yet, don't forget and about yet, your people, King. And yet, no, well, listen, by, uh, by saying being who honest, who causes misery for honest, your people? Who causes honest, misery for your people? I know what who system caused, did. The, the misery I've seen in my own life, most of it against black people, have been at the hands of other and black people. And what's the people. other? The murders what's I've the seen. What's the other? The stabbings I've who seen. Who put them in that condition? The harm I've seen. 
Who put them in that condition? That who seen? broke them down that okay, way? Okay, that's what I've seen. Who, okay. who degraded them and that who way? Is it, and, and who demoralized them ultimately, that way? Ultimately, Jay. Hey, who, de who dehumanized them that way? Where did they get that condition Jay, from, King? Jay, Where's the ultimately, group? ultimately, it's not going to wash. It doesn't wash now. What's the root of black people being in the condition they are? Before I let you go, stop talking about do the leaders. What's the root? Do you condemn what happened in Baton Rouge? Do I condemn what happened in Baton yeah, Rouge? The killing of those police officers. The killing of Alan Sterling. Of those police officers. I condemn all and killings extra. of all human beings. I don't think any human being should be take, life should be taken. A God-given life should not be taken by another human being. I condemn all God-given life being taken by, by someone. Right. Absolutely. Right, We're gonna have to leave it there. Hopefully, we can have this conversation again sometime in the, in the near future. Never forget the root of our problem. All right, Jay. Thank you.